This is the Tokyo Bada 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Bada 23 sneaker channel. There's my niche up to another day. My niche me to the And I do bring you sneaker content and sneaker information every single day. And this is a box of bread fours. As I promised on Monday and Wednesday's video, I would bring you a proper review of them today. So today we're all about getting into this and giving you close-up looks at these bread fours and having a real like hunt around and dig around this sneaker and have a good look at see at all the details that make up the bread four sneaker. As I said in the introduction, today is all about having a look at these bread fours and having a real in-depth review of them. Uh, this is my first pair of Jordans, uh, and I, I feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit with this, but um, it's kind of important. <laughs> you know, this is my first Jordans. Hatsu Jordan des, hajimete Jordan no kaeta no de. Hatsu Jordan des, daisuki. And they... Yeah, they're my first ever pair of Jordans, and it's kind of important. And I said in the video on Monday, Monday's video was all about setting up this week and these bread fours, and it was all about savoring the firstness of me getting my first ever pair of Jordans. Then Wednesday's video was the unboxing, and that that moment when I unboxed a pair of Jordans for the first time and had you know eyes on my own Jordans for the very very first time. Uh, and there's reasons I've I've explained this before. If you're a regular on my channel, you know this, and I'll put the link up here, um, which you can go to, which explains why I've never owned a pair of Jordans before. I had never owned a pair of Jordans before because I have now. Um, and uh, so there's lots of reasons behind that why I've never owned a pair of Jordans, uh, and that links up there, and you can have to check out that. Um, so Monday was the introduction. Tuesday, uh, Wednesday was the unboxing, and today is an actual proper review um so we'll we'll do that right now it's the classic uh jordan box apparently this is my first pair of jordans but i've seen other people unbox them um and uh and we've got the Jumpman logo on the front here in red with the word flight underneath uh, on one end here you've got the Jumpman logo again and air and then on the other end you've got the uh information about the box this here i said on wednesday's video that i didn't know that uh this this hole existed and through it a waft of gluey smell came so uh um, but anyway, on the other end of the box here, you've got the uh, the information about the sneaker. Hopefully, my uh, my camera's tuning in on there, and you can see that it's a 12.5 US or 30.5 in the states. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's just get into these guys because today is all about showing you the sneaker, getting up close and personal. So we won't won't do that unboxing. Uh, <laughs> I'm smiling because um, the the underside of the box is red, and even a small detail like that, I quite like. Uh, this corner is a little bit flimsy though, so uh, I do plan on keeping this box on my first ever pair. Um, and then inside you've got that black paper, um, a really nice paper, uh, and there they are. This is the Breads 4s, and we're going to spend the next 5 or 10 minutes just having a look at these in close-up detail. That smell of glue really is quite strong. So, starting on uh, the, the left sneaker, I'm going to take out the... I don't know what this is. Is there a name for this? Does anyone know if there's a name for that at home? There's the tag on the side, which I don't need anymore because these are all mine. I, I don't know how to take this bit out without damaging the sneaker. I'd rather not take it out and damage it because I think I'm going to be keeping that in there to uh, to keep this, you know, the shape of the sneaker. So let me try unloosening the laces a little bit and see if I can just pull the tongue out and get that out there. Yeah, that helped. Well, that's interesting. So that's. I guess that's the ankle support. You know, like I say, it's my first pair of Jordans, so there's no, like, I don't know this. But then deeper inside, again, I don't know if this is regular on Jordans. That's pretty cool. Um, you've got the, the sort of four foot holder, and I don't know if this will show up or not. I'll try and sort of rotate it, but it's got a jump man on there. I don't know if that comes as standard on Jordans or not. Um, again, please tell me. Uh, this is my first ever pair of Jordans, so um, I can't stress that enough. Uh, but that's what I've got rid of that stuff there. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to cut this right off here because these are mine. Bye-bye. Uh, okay, so that's a nice clean shoe. I'm going to keep the, uh, uh, gosh, I, I forgot what that's called, the, the hang tag, because <laughs> that's the OG hang tag. I'm going to keep that on that shoe there. Uh, and then we'll do the same here. I'll just loosen these guys up really quickly and um, or as quickly as I can at my decrepit age. Pull out the ankle support and then the forefoot support. There you go. Uh, and again, we've got that Jumpman logo on there, but I don't know how easy it is to see that. 
Okay, now down to the actual sneakers. So um, I've I've been at pains to say this over the last <coughs> excuse me over the last week. I've never owned a pair of Jordans, but I've never even worn a pair of Jordans in my life. Never gone into a store and tried a pair on. These are my first ever Jordans that are in hand, and my first ever Jordans. Uh, to own and they will be my first ever Jordans on feet on Sunday. These are going on feet on Sunday So uh, Monday was the introduction to these guys. Tuesday was the unboxing. Uh, today, Friday is all about giving you guys a close-up look at these and then on Sunday we'll do some on foot and see if uh, uh, I can get some good shots of that. So, um, you know, I usually, uh, you know, I usually start at the top of a sneaker and work my way down. So this is a classic uh, four, Jordan 4 silhouette uh, and we'll start right at the top of the tongue. You've got a square patch there on the tongue with the Jumpman logo in red. So it's a black patch and a black tongue with the Jumpman logo in red. And then underneath this in this classic sort of uh, Jordan line writing it says flight there. Um, and then on the back, now I'm gonna flip these upside down on the back of the tongue. You can see here it says Air Jordan, there's a tag there. Uh, and that, so when it's the right way up, uh, the lettering looks upside down. So you have to flip it upside down to have a good look at that and see the lettering on the back of the tongue there. Um, there are a number of very significant iconic features on fours. Uh, for example, this pool tag on the back is not repeated on any other sneaker to my knowledge uh, that I've ever seen. So it's that kind of, um, uh, do you know what this reminds me of? It's, this is a geographical term. It reminds me of an alluvial fan. Um, so it's a fan effect on there with this sort of studding going on there. One thing that surprised me, again, first time having these in hand, um, that really surprised me how thin that is. I thought these were much more substantial than that, but that is surprisingly thin and quite flexible. I thought it was much more solid and durable than that, but that's... Uh, that's what it is. Um, okay, staying on the top, we've got the gray uh, sock liner inside there in the top line, which really, uh, the, the colors of these bread fours is, a, is a, just an iconic set of colors and that gray uh, with the gray waffle eyelets on the, the lace holders uh, there. Uh, it just really pops, you know, on that gray in, in uh, sock line is, is great. I, I doubt you can see this. I'll try and angle it to catch. There's a light up here. I'll try and angle it to catch it, but the, uh, the Nike uh, Air branding on the inside. So it's a red insole. I'm not sure if that's going to be working or not. A red insole with black uh, branding on it in there as well. I'm not going to try and pull out the insole. I've seen people pull out insoles in other videos, uh, but I'm definitely not going to do that. Now, I, I really want you to see this, so I'm going to try and get this because this is, um, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to, but again, because I've never had these in hand, all this is really new to me, but I didn't realize they had this piece of elastic in there. Uh, maybe if I pull on the tongue like that, you can see the elastic flexing, but I didn't realize there was a piece of elastic on the inside there to give that tongue a bit of give when you're putting it on your foot, but then also to hold it back tight against your uh, your ankle and your uh, the top of your foot. So, Okay, that's the top uh, part of the sneaker. Um, like I said, we've got these waffle eyelets. There's four of them on each uh, shoe, two on the lateral side, two on the medial side in that gray color. Uh, and then the black lacing on here. I didn't notice in the box, um, because there aren't any, there aren't any other laces. There's just the black laces. I know some sneakers come with uh, multiple different color laces. A lot of the Jordan 1s that have been dropping recently have come with many laces, but these bread 4s only uh, in my box, maybe, maybe I'm missing them, but uh, they only come with the black laces there. Uh, then this is uh, one of those iconic Air uh, Jordan 4 design features is this triangular support on the lacing system here. I said in Wednesday that I know that these are called the waffle eyelets, but I don't know what this triangular part is called here. So if you do know that triangular part there, um, please let me know what that's called. And again, it's one of those iconic Jordan 4 design points. It's not, I've not seen it on any other sneaker in any other way. What I have seen on another sneaker is this sort of mesh effect here, which did get carried over to the Jordan 5s. Um, so that mesh effect there. Um, and I'm kind of surprised again to feel it because um, it's more substantial, it's more solid than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be um, separate from the shoe, but it feels like whatever's underneath there, the padding and the mesh are connected together. They're not, the mesh doesn't sort of pull off of the the padding underneath which kind of surprised me I was expecting the mesh to be off of the uh, the padding underneath and I think the mesh yeah the mesh goes up the tongue so if I have a feel of the the tongue yeah the mesh is, is glued on to the whole tongue if you like so um, yep so that's us there now I've been putting off I've been putting this off but let's just have a good close-up look at this um, that's that's it right there 
the Nike Air branding on the heel. That's the, the big thing here. And I hope this is showing up because uh, I'll tell you about the, the, the technology I use to shoot videos in a later video, but it's, it's not good. So it's hard for me to know if this shows up. I don't have a forward facing screen, so I don't know how this looks for you. Um, but anyway, that Nike Air branding on the heel is very important. Uh, these dropped for the first time, Bread 4s, uh, in 2000. No, they didn't in 2000, what I'm talking about. In 1989, 30 years ago. That's why they're dropping again right now is because it's the 30th anniversary of the red fours of any fours so all fours dropped for the first time in 1989 in four colorways uh, this being one of them and then in 1999 they dropped them again with that Nike Air logo on the heel but then in 2008 and 2012 when they dropped the red fours again they've replaced this Nike Air branding with the Jumpman logo uh, so going back now in 2019 to the Nike Air branding on the heel for the first time in 20 years is a major design point so I'll give you a good look at that I hope it looks as good uh, on the camera as it does in hand because it is a cracking looking uh, branding on the back there and I was kind of surprised a little bit surprised at the size of it for some reason I thought that lettering was bigger and it covered more of the heel um, but I think it's a, a good uh, a good size lettering and it fits this sort of aesthetic of the whole shoe Okay, now there's not really much else to look at. Um, it's hard, it'll be hard for you to make out. I don't have great lighting here, but there's the upper um, and this beautiful soft leather on the upper. I think it's new buck. Um, please let me know in the comments down below if it's not, but I'm pretty sure this is new buck leather, which is very, very soft uh, and feels great in hand. So, uh, and it's an interesting contrast between the plastic rubbery mesh and then the soft new buck leather on there as well. Uh, I really, really like the midsoles on Jordan 4s. Um, I just love this mudguard part that comes up here. Uh, and they, they, they can be a bit hit or miss uh, depending on the colors. Uh, and I think the colors are just spot on on this sneaker, black, red, gray, and white. Um, it's really, you know, very subtle colors. They're not at all kind of, you know, in your face popping colors. There's a lot of uh, Jordan 1s these days, you know, the turbo greens and the neutral grays. Was it neutral grays? Um, and uh, it was crimson, crimson pink or something like that. They're, they're all kind of these hot colors, but these are very sort of neutral colors, but it looks really great. They work really, really well together. Now, this is something I didn't know about until I was watching um, Ugly Shoes only when he did his live unboxing of these. And I don't know how easy this is going to be to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom this in as far as it will go. At some point, it might lose focus uh, and be hard to see. Uh, but at which point, I don't know when. But I don't know if you can see, but that toe box there, the toe of the outsole, um, those are all tiny little stars. I didn't know that. I didn't know that these were all tiny little stars across... Uh, the front of the toe there in that red section there so uh, and again ugly uh, shoes only when he was unboxing his he said oh those stars and I was like what's he talking about and now I know now I know it's the, the stars on the front of the the outsole there which is pretty cool and it is it's a phenomenal outsole I mean I talk about outsoles a lot and they can be make or break for me in shoes um, I was I did a review of um, Vapor Max Oreos and it was the outsole that broke it for me. I, I, I didn't like the outsole, uh, but this is an absolutely iconic outsole, a phenomenal looking sneaker, a phenomenal looking outsole. So, uh, and that, and that's about it. Uh, is there anything else in the shoe that I should be talking about with you guys? Um, I'll just get you nice and close up to it while I'm finishing up the video. Hopefully, you know you don't need to see me. You just need to see the shoe. So, the Bread Fours, man, what an iconic sneaker. Really, really glad to make this my first ever pair of Jordans. I think they're just a fine looking shoe. Really pretty sneaker. Uh, I'm glad to have these guys in hand. Uh, I'm glad to have this pair in hand and I'll be even more glad to have the second pair that's coming. Uh -huh. I wonder if you guys out there knew that. Uh, I got these on the sneakers app, um, which was a, like a miracle. Nobody ever gets anything on the sneakers app unless it's, you know, uh, just sitting and then you can get them. But usually the bots get there ahead of you. So I got these in the sneakers app, but I also hit up a pair in my size, 30.5 centimeters, 12.5 in the US, uh, on sneakers and stuff on their raffle. So I have a second pair coming, uh, which I will definitely uh, get into. I'm not sure what I want to do with them. Maybe one pair I'll put on ice and one pair uh, I'll actually wear. I'm not sure. So I, I didn't plan for having two pairs of bread fours. Uh, I've never had a pair of Jordans in my life and all of a sudden I've got two pairs. Uh, but I'll, I'll look at that second pair with you in another video later on. Um, 
But for now, I hope you enjoyed this close-up look uh, and review of the Bread 4s. I will get these on foot on Sunday uh, and we'll see how the fit is, especially because I don't know if I should have gone up a size, down a size, half a size. Uh, I don't know how Jordans fit, if they fit true to size. So it'll be interesting for me to put these on feet and see, and then I'll see if uh, I can kind of get some clothes together that will uh, make this shoe pop and, be, and give us a, a good on-foot video for Sunday. For now, it's time for me to check off and say thanks for checking in on this third of four videos about me getting my first ever pair of Jordan sneakers. I'm really, really happy to make me these my first. I've always said that the four silhouette was my favorite silhouette, followed by the 12. So maybe my next sneaker should be 12s. I'm starting really high, a really high, um, high bar I'm setting for myself with these bread fours. They're a cracking looking sneaker. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another sneaker review. And then on Sunday, we'll bring you that on foot of these guys. So please stick around and check out my content. For now, it's time for me to say thanks for checking in with Tokyo Bar 23 and I will see you tomorrow.